Today on the Techno Gardener, we will demonstrate how to configure a Veggie Hub relay controller. This tutorial will explain what a relay controller is, show how to fetch a hub's IP address, demonstrate how to configure your Veggie Hub's relay, and cover how to easily override your relay using VeggieCloud.com. A relay acts as a switch that allows power to flow to your device. A good example is a light switch. When the switch is off, no power is able to reach the light. However, when the switch is on, power is able to flow freely. Likewise, the Veggie Hub's relay can switch power on and off to your devices. Incredibly, you can configure your Veggie Hub relay to automatically switch on and off based on certain conditions, such as when a sensor hits a certain threshold or when it becomes a certain time. To be clear, the Veggie Hub relay does not generate power. It is simply a switch. Just as an unplugged lamp will never turn on, regardless of how many times you flip the switch, your controlled device will never activate unless you connect an external power source. To begin, you will need to know your hub's IP address in order to make changes to its settings. Insert a USB drive with a micro USB adapter into the hub. After a few seconds, remove the drive, plug it into the computer, and select the file named ipaddress.txt. You are now ready to configure your relay settings. First, make sure the hub's yellow light is on by pressing the middle button on the board. Copy the IP address from the thumb drive and paste it into your browser. This should open up the hub's setting page. Select the middle tab titled Relay Setup. Select how you want your relay controlled. Manual control allows you to immediately toggle your relay or schedule a time for when it will turn on and off. Selecting Web Condition will allow you to activate your relay through remote conditions by periodically sending a GET request to the inputted URL. One example of this could include setting up a remote sensor in your backyard which logs data to VeggieCloud and in turn activates the separate relay controller. Selecting Sensor Condition will control the relay based on the hub's local sensor's current value. If you have multiple sensors connected to your hub, you can create a combination of conditions to turn your relay on and off. Whichever option you select to control your relay, you can also add a time constraint as an additional condition for controlling your relay. Recently, I have been working very hard to automate my garden ecosystem. I have a lot of plants in my house and I wanted to create a way to have them grow with minimal maintenance. So I've added veggie hubs with relay controls to automatically water my plants. Using a VH400 moisture sensor, a Vegetronics peristaltic pump, and the veggie hub, I have set my relay to turn on the pump when the soil's moisture gets too dry. Now, I don't have to worry about starving or drowning my plants as they are watered when they need it. After setting your relay to fit your needs, replace the lid, mount your hub, and enjoy the ease of an automated lifestyle. Lastly, we will show how to easily control your relay from VeggieCloud. Go to VeggieCloud.com and log into your account. From the dashboard, select Schedule Overrides. An override allows you to manually turn your relay on or off for a specified amount of time. This can be useful if you temporarily want to turn on your sprinklers, turn off a pump for maintenance, or more. Select your desired relay hub and decide when you want the override to start. Finally, decide how long you want the override to last and click Create to save your changes. Keep in mind that there may be a delay from when you create the override and when the command is executed, since the hub will first need to contact the server to retrieve the override information. Alternatively, you can easily ask Alexa to schedule an override using the Veggie Cloud skill. Thanks for watching. To learn how to connect your hub with Alexa and to see other cool products, visit vegetronics.com.